All right, well, that didn't take too long to strip down. However, I was kind of hoping to take this rail handle off. However, um, there's a lot of like tucked way up in there bolts and nuts rather than just being screwed into the body like I was hoping so they'd be easy to take out. So I need to decide how nice of a job I want to do on this. Because those seem like a really big pain in the ass to take off. All right, well, I decided to take those side pieces off. Turns out the first bolt I tried to take out was the biggest pain in the butt one. Um, although several of the others came right out. Some of them were, I mean, broke off or stripped out of nut. I think I only had one that broke off, but uh, looks like they're just little clips in there, so I probably have some clips laying around. I can replace those. Um, I've sanded down most of the cart. I'm not getting too fancy. It's just 60 grit. Uh, but before I get to painting, uh, I'm going to have to go get some tape and stuff to kind of tape off some of the stuff. But I'll show you this trick with the back plastics. I don't know why this works. Something chemically, I'm sure. But uh, I don't know. I saw it for guys trying to redo bleachers to make them look nice. So you can see how this side's much shinier. And I doubt all plastics are this way, but... Just give it some heat and flame. Not trying to light it on fire or anything, so just moving it back and forth. And it just like turns it from faded gray to shiny black again. I'm sure it won't be perfect after all this thing's freaking was new in 1985 and I'm sure these have never been replaced, but... This is gonna just, you know, recoloring the plastic's gonna hold up a hell of a lot better than painting it or anything else, so... It's kind of a cool quick way to bring a little life back into it.
drying right now, and I'm trying to plan out what my, I'm going to do for the stripes. I know I kind of want to mimic what's on the cut list, but that's going to mean leaving a little bit of gold down here on the bottom, but then being black on top. I think just to tie it together, I should probably roll the black over the edge here. I'll do my stripe and I should just extend that forward and they can stay level across the whole cart and then wrap around. So everything down will be gold. I think this will need to be gold, but for just the sake of easiness, everything up here probably going to be black. Uh, just because that's where your feet are, it's going to see the most weird to be. Black is going to be the easiest to touch up. But, I don't know, just letting this tack up a little bit and then we'll start spraying paint over the top. heavy metallic so I gotta like do light layers at a time or runs which I, the first spray I did there happened. That's also why I'm backing up light of it. patient so there's some overspray I'm not worried about the line it'll get a red stripe on there um, maybe I'll try buffing the overspray off later on I don't know I don't want to turn this into a you know week-long project I just want to you know be a weekend so let's keep going worst case scenario it's just a golf cart and we'll cover it with stickers <laughs> this clips kind of hanging in there but three other ones are broken so I swapped them out for these other body clips i use these body clips on uh the race car quite a bit so it's i mean it's nice because they can just click in there and then it's somewhere to catch a quarter 20 screw grab some stainless screws might as well make a match huh since the other ones are uh, different type of head on them, but at least it's still stainless.
somebody's gonna break it. Oh, hang on. So look, look yeah, at this. There's two holes in the. Okay. Oh, this thing's gonna pull apart. That's why we're having trouble. Taking that overspray off with just a little bit of uh, buffing compound and a rag and just rubbing it back and forth till it comes off and it's just taking off that overspray. So should be able to salvage this pretty good. All right, I stuck the headlights back on because I'll still be able to run my stripe around here if I gotta pop the headlight loose big deal whatever I don't have a red stripe put on here right now so I'm just trying to get some wiring hooked up now I'm gonna put some sleeving around here to protect it where it'll be exposed a little bit right here uh, I'm not gonna worry about too much underneath uh, the floor by the way look, man look how good that stuff cleaned up there under the dash that rubber mat and the floor ah, it looks good um, and then I'll sleeve it Back here too, on the wire, uh, it's plenty big if I ever have to add any more wire. Like if I wanna run some for fun lights or anything, uh, I'll be able to do that. But anyway, yeah, run it back along the frame and then I'll remount two tail lights back here. I got some red LEDs that I won't need for the enclosed trailer project. So I'll put those on here and then we'll have uh, lights front and back. I was able to tuck that wiring up in there. It's pinched in between there. And on the back side, it just kind of sticks under that rail so it shouldn't be at risk of getting damaged along here. Um, I did have it lined up to work really nice and then it all went to shit when I went to put that uh, ground in and it went and ripped wires out and now I gotta have an extra connection. But, it's minor. Unless somebody looks really hard, they ain't gonna see it, and it works for now. I'm just a little upset about it right now, so I don't wanna redo it. <laughs> All right, I had to tackle some more wiring issues and chase around just to find that it was the same loose connection it was before. So that may be an ongoing problem. It seems to be centered around the solenoid, so I have to deal with that, but off camera, added the stripe, and I wrapped the aluminum bumper in the same gray carbon that's on the cutlass fiberglass bumpers. Had a couple more uh, Instagram YouTube stickers, so put those on each side. I really need to do something about this big black space on the hood. Um, really not sure yet. Maybe if I snag another door card next year, that'd be pretty cool up there. I don't know, I figure I to have something to have a little more association with the car, but I don't know. I'd say they're getting pretty close, ain't they? Well, it's getting closer. I think I might have to uh, pull the wheels completely off and try to paint them a little bit to get rid of the white underneath, but especially around that lip, I think that's what's throwing it off, but I don't know, it's kind of neat. It's getting kind of close. All right, that'll be it for this video, but uh, we still got some more things I want to do. Uh, we still need to work on uh, cup holders, uh, some music, and a couple other fun things. So that'll be the next video, but I'm pretty thrilled with how the cheap spray paint paint job came out. And uh, I think it looks pretty cool. It's actually getting really close to the cutlass, which is uh, pretty awesome. So we'll see how much more stuff I do, but certainly a few more things I want to work on. And maybe we'll do a little bit more stuff with stylizing a little closer to the cutlass too.